Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the, some basics about the Java exception handling. So let's go through the slides. Uh, so what is basically exception handling in Java? Exception handling in Java provides a way to handle a situation when an exception is thrown by showing a meaningful message to the user and continue or terminate it with with the flow of the program right when an exceptional condition occurs uh, within the within a method uh, the jvm basically creates an exception object and throws it the created exception object contains information about the error its type and state of the program when the error occurred right the method where the exception is uh, thrown many uh, may handle that exception itself or pass it on in case it passes it on runtime system goes through the method hierarchy that had been called to get uh, get to the current method to search for a method that can handle the exception if your program is not able to catch any particular exception that will ultimately be will be processed by the default handler right the default handler displays a message describing the exception prints a stack trace from the point at uh, at which uh, the exception occurs and terminates the program right so that's all about the exception handling now there are five keywords used to manage java exception handling first keyword is try any code that might throw an exception is enclosed within a try block now next keyword we have a second keyword catch if an exception occurs in try block catch block can provide exception and handler to handle it third keyword we have a finally the finally block always executes when the try block exits so any code that must execute after a try block is completed should be put in the finally block like uh, closing any kind of resources means kind of cleanup like uh, closing a open file or closing a database connection etc you can do in the finally block now uh, fourth keyword we have a throw throw is used to manually throw an exception right now uh, fifth keyword we have a throws an exception that is uh, thrown in a method but not handled where must we specify in the throws clause with the method signature right of course these things we'll see uh, uh, through a practical example as well now basically general form of exception handling in java so this is the code snippet basically which is showing how an exceptional handling uh, blocks look 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 like so here you have a try block and block of code here you are going to write which may throw <coughs> kind any kind of exception right which we are going to call catch in the uh, catch block and uh, that will be stored into the expobj object and that you can uh, uh, print over here or you can log somewhere in the log file right so uh, there is possibility in your try block this code basically throwing a, a multiple type of exception so i mean one try can have a multiple catch and uh, all catch will be first subclass catch and then super class catch uh, will be declared in in this format and finally you have a finally block right so here block of code uh, to be executed after try block ends right so those code you are going to put into the finally block so this this is the basically uh, code snippet looks like in terms of exception handling there are many more things which we are going to cover in the uh, uh, next video series now when we talk about the exception hierarchy in java in terms of uh, uh, exception and handling classes right so here you can look into this picture uh, throwable is the topmost class right so throwable class is the super class of all the exceptional uh, exception exception classes in java and uh, below you have uh, two more classes below throwable class there are two subclasses which uh, denotes two distinct branches of exception first is the exception an exception indicates that a problem has occurred but it is not a serious system problem the user programs uh, you write 
will throw and catch exceptions and that's all about the exception now we have an error so error it defines exceptions that are not expected to be caught by your program exceptions of type error are used by the java runtime system to indicate errors having to do with the runtime environment itself example of errors like stack overflow error out of memory error etc right now uh, rest of the things like uh, the runtime exception checked exception and unchecked exception we'll talk about later point of time now here type when we talk about the types of exception right then you have a uh, two types of basically exceptions right so first of all checked ex exception right these are the exceptional condition that uh, an application should anticipate and recover from second type of exception is called unchecked or runtime exception these are exceptional condition that are basically external to the application and the application usually cannot anticipate or recover from them and when you say error it defines exceptions that are not expected to be caught by your program right uh, one thing you will have to keep in mind error and runtime exception are collectively known as unchecked ex exception right now uh, last thing we are going to discuss what are the advantages of exception handling so these are the basically advantage of exception handling to maintain the normal flow of the application uh, now second advantage separation of concern by separating error handling code from the regular code right third advantage you have a uh, providing uh, a proper message uh, for the filling condition right and finally next uh, next advantage we have a preventing the code from manually terminating so that's all basic things i wanted to discuss uh, about the exception handling in java in next video tutorial we'll see we'll explore some more things about uh, exception handling in java guys big thank you for watching this video and if you like if you really like this video then please hit on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel so guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial